Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, March 1st, 2021. Precipitation for the past 14 days is shown here with the observed amounts on the left and the percent of normal on the right. Um, it's been a pretty good couple of weeks, especially across the north, even northern Nevada and northern Utah. And even the, the mountains of central Utah have seen a, a healthy amount of precipitation over the past couple of weeks. Still dry across uh, southern Nevada and portions of eastern Utah, however, and, and even there's still this donut um, of below normal precipitation in uh, eastern Idaho. Snowfall for the past 24 hours is shown here, mainly sticking to the higher elevations of Idaho, Wyoming, and then again northern Nevada and northern Utah. Current snow depth values are pretty healthy for Idaho and Wyoming and uh, not terrible for Utah, it's still below normal for what we'd expect uh, this time of year, but um, not as bad as it was in January. This morning's satellite imagery is showing generally sunny skies and warming temperatures in place over the Great Basin for the next couple of days uh, with this high pressure building over the area. But we do see this low off the California coast that will continue to deepen and bring some moisture to the southern Great Basin by midweek. So for today, generally sunny skies and dry conditions across the geographic area with ventilation rates that are uh, fairly poor across the region. This is due to the light transport winds in place across much of the area. Uh, some gustier winds there along the, the uh, Snake River Plain and the central Idaho mountains, but lighter elsewhere, especially over Utah. Mixing heights are fairly low as well, uh, area-wide. More of the same is expected on Tuesday as that high pressure continues to dominate the weather pattern over the Great Basin, but we do see this low pressure cutting off and uh, strengthening a bit off the California coast. Ventilation rates are still pretty poor on Tuesday uh, with continued light winds over the area and low mixing heights. Late in the day on Wednesday, that low will begin to, will move inland from California and make its way into the Great Basin, uh, particularly Nevada by Wednesday, uh, bringing some rain showers to low elevation rain and some higher elevation snow to uh, southern Nevada and southern Utah by Wednesday. Uh, ventilation rates improve over the south with that low, but still remain fairly low across the north on Wednesday. So uh, on, late in the day on Wednesday, those winds will pick up uh, across southern Nevada, particularly in southwest Utah, associated with that low. We can see the wind speeds also picking up over southern California quite a bit. And the mixing heights improve over much of southern Nevada and southern Utah, uh, also with that low. So for the forecasted clearing index for Utah, pretty poor today and tomorrow, increasing on Wednesday as that low moves into the southern Great Basin. The three-day precip totals are shown here. It's a pretty a good amount of moisture coming into the central and southern Great Basin with this low, particularly southern Nevada and southwest, all of southern Utah really. Should see some good amount of precipitation uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, by late in the day Thursday, that low has tracked off to the east and we see a return of dry conditions and sunny skies to the geographic area. There is another low setting up off the Pacific Northwest coast here uh, that will impact the region probably by the weekend. But the ventilation rates really improve uh, by Thursday across Utah and Nevada, still remaining poor across the north. And on Friday, that low continues to hang out over the, or that trough anyway, continuing to hang out over the Pacific Northwest and just off the coast, staying out of the geographic area, uh, but maybe bringing some breezier winds to western portions of the region. And that's why we'll see so ventilation rates improving over Nevada and parts of, parts of western Idaho, but still not staying uh, really great over Utah or eastern Idaho. And then by Saturday, that low kind of opens, that trough opens up a bit, um, may, turning the flow more westerly. We'll still see warm temperatures and, and generally some sunny skies, but may see some cloudiness here and there as some of that moisture makes its way into the Great Basin. Ventilation rates really improve across the entire geographic area by Saturday. And then continuing to some extent on Sunday, uh, that low finally will bring in some uh, moisture into the north. Idaho, northern Nevada, with gustier winds across much of the geographic area by Sunday. 
And the precipitation for days four and five, this is Thursday through Saturday, still showing a good amount uh, across Utah. This is as that low continues to exit the area, mostly on Thursday. Um, we'll continue to see those showers, but by Friday through, through the Saturday, uh, this area will be dry. The extended forecast for March 8th through the 14th is calling for pretty cool weather uh, at the extended forecast for March 8th through the 14th is calling for a pretty cool air mass in place over the west coast, which will bring cooler temperatures to the Great Basin. And we're also looking for above normal chances for precip, uh, slightly above normal chances for precip at least, over the Great Basin and during that same uh, second week of March. This concludes today's smoke dispersion briefing. Please check back on Wednesday for the latest updates.